Peggy 16. Je suis Camille Lisoire. I'm Camille Lisoire, and I'm the art director on Rogue Lords. We chose to place Rogue Lords in a world similar to New England in the 17th century at the time of the Salem witch trials. In Rogue Lords, you play as the devil who was returned on Earth after several years following his defeat to Van Helsing, his sworn enemy. He calls on the services of well-known evil disciples such as uh, Dracula and Bloody Mary. His disciples are reminded of the pact they signed with him earlier, so they have no choice but to work together as a team to fight the devil's enemies. As you play on the side of evil, you obviously fight the forces of good. The forces of good are mainly demon hunters, but not all. There's also Sanctualumen, a mysterious organization you will encounter that seems to cause you a lot of trouble. It's a co-production with Laker, another studio from the Paris region. We created the prototype of the game with them a few years ago, so it was an obvious choice to continue developing the game with them. And when Sai and I joined the Nacon fold, we could finally start production on the game we had dreamed about for several years. We wanted the game to be quite dark and mature, so we set out to explore gothic fantasy, and obviously the first influence we turned to was Tim Burton and all of his work especially the film Sleepy Hollow, which takes place in the same time period. You can even find the Headless Horseman in our game. Rogue Lords is a roguelike. You do a series of runs to gain experience and acquire tools that will help you in achieving your final goal. Fights are very important in the game. It's turn-based combat, like in many roguelikes. In these fights, you control a team of three characters chosen from among the Devil's Disciples who each have a set of skills you can also choose. For example, Bloody Mary can place a mirror behind her enemies and each time she deals damage, the damage is reflected to the enemy with the mirror behind them, so she can be extremely effective. You can also create combos between the different characters in your team. You explore a procedurally generated 3D map. You must search for different diabolical artifacts that the devil lost during the Great War against Van Helsing. Each artifact corresponds to a different run. These runs can be played until you have enough experience, so the game has infinite potential. An important aspect of the Rogue Lords is that because you play as the devil, you can cheat. So there really aren't any rules to the game. Uh, you can pause the game at any time. For example, during combat when your disciples are in a bad way and close to death, the devil can take damage in their place. We really wanted to give Rogue Lords a dark and poetic atmosphere. And we hope that players have as much fun exploring this world as we did making it.